Since Reconstruction, more than 150 black lawmakers have served in Congress. On this day in 1870, voters elected the first African Americans to serve full terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. Black Republicans Robert DeLarge, Robert Elliott, and Joseph Rainey made history when they won three out of the four congressional seats for South Carolina. Robert DeLarge was born in Atkins, South Carolina. His father was reportedly a free mixed race tailor, and his mother was a cloak maker of Haitian descent. DeLarge earned most of his wealth as a member of the Confederate Navy. After the Civil War, he worked as an agent in the Freedmen's Bureau. Once elected, DeLarge advocated against racial violence and the Ku Klux Klan. Robert Elliott was born and raised in England to West Indian parents. He served in the British Navy and settled in Charleston, where he became the associate editor of the Freedmen's newspaper, The South Carolina Leader. Once elected, Elliott fought against literacy tests for voters and supported eliminating discrimination on public transportation. Joseph Rainey was born enslaved in Georgetown, South Carolina. His father used his earnings as a barber to buy the family's freedom. Despite constant death threats, Rainey called for the passage of the Ku Klux Klan Act to expand the federal government's reach to stop Klan violence. He also was a fearless advocate for economic rights for black people. Rainey also fought for equal access to education and pushed lawmakers to desegregate schools. Rainey was the longest serving black congressman during Reconstruction and served with more than a dozen other black lawmakers. Together, they helped shape a black political powerhouse in the South. So today we celebrate Robert DeLarge, Robert Elliott, Joseph Rainey, and the current black Congress members who continue to push for equality and for black excellence. And that's for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime, and good night.